A track we have not visited in a few years rolls back onto the schedule here this year. It has been a solid four years since we have been here at Lime Rock Park. Hello, everybody. Welcome to round number three of 22, the 2020 Sunoco Elite Series, Sunoco Pro Series season. Uh, we roll back into Lime Rock Park. It's been a few years since we've been here. It was a staple of the early seasons, but a repave has put it back on the schedule, back on the map, and we return to a track with a good amount of history, but all that history now in the books, because most of the people who've won here in the past are retired. The only one left who has not, who has won here is Anderson. Uh, but let's look at your starting lineup. Sweeping practice and qualifying. A shocker at a mile red Ryback. Besting the Mavericks, all the Roushes, and all the Chevrons to put his Pontiac on the top of the board for Ditek. And Ryback looking very strong this weekend. Uh, this is the kind of pace he showed back at uh, Carmen Park last year. And now he arrives here, Limerick Park, the second of the races in Connecticut after last week at WR Raceway, now here at Lime Rock, and lots of hopefuls for this race. This race is going to be looking to be a good race uh, out here today, and Ryback trying to bring it together for a possible second career win. The person who he drag raced to the line at Carmen Park last year, Eric Monaco, sits alongside him, as we may see a very thrilling rematch here in Connecticut. Eric, not an amazing start to the year, but he is your preseason testing winner, and he could put it together today to put in a good result. Will Hoyt and Duncan fill out row two. Will Hoyt still on his second place streak. Let's see if he can continue it. And William Duncan has been on the rise lately. One of the fastest guys in the early part of the season trying to put together another good result today to keep himself up there. Porto Paulson reigning champion and last week's winner alongside Gerardo Ron, who still has not won a race despite participating in every single season. Zachary Fitzwater Sr. after getting in on his champion's provisional starts P7 and Gatlin Downey, a very strong showing in P8. Paul Jackson on row five of uh, trying to put together some kind of pace as the last few weeks, even back when he got a podium at uh, Gatineau, he just did not have the pace to keep up with the others around him. And uh, PJ Karenko shocking everyone by being in the top 10 in points, and he starts in the top 10 in this race trying to keep the streak going. Other notables. Uh, Anderson, the only person who has won here who is still in the field. Won here back in 2014. Maybe could win it here today. Uh, Audrey Baranowskis, another amazing qualifying in P16. Cody Lamas, his first showing this year uh, as he made his first race, but it's P18, an amazing qualifying for Lamas for Fitzwater Australia. All three Fitzwater cars made the field with uh, Sean R down in 32nd. He'd have a long way to go. Roger Ray back to his old qualifying self in 39th. Scott Rausch a struggling qualifying in 38th. Uh, and Sean Angel was forced to the rear due to an uh, issue back in practice. As that wraps up your starting lineup, we're going to go down, ready to take the green here in Connecticut in just a moment. And down the just trademark final hill to the final straight here at Lime Rock Park. As we turn through the final corner, pace car coming in this time, and it'll be Milerad Ryback leading it down to the green flag here. His first outing here at Lime Rock, but not the first outing for the guy on his outside. Eric been here many times before, and we'll see who will be the winner here as we are going to be going green here at Lime Rock. And an amazing jump out of the 29 car. Ryback got the jump on the 87 and the 98. Although Will Hoyt a much better start than Eric. And Will Hoyt up into second. Back where he's trying to keep his streak alive of being in the top two in every race. Or in every event being specifically second. As we head up the hill a big jump for the first time. That hill is so much more than it was in previous seasons as with the new downforce of these cars, the new grip that these guys have, they have so much more speed heading up that straight. 
and they actually take air as we finish up lap one. Iran and Fitzwater get together but do not go around. It is Ryback, your leader. After lap one, as we are clean through the first lap, Ryback has the 98 all over the rear of him. Eric in third, Duncan fourth, and then it's Iran and Paulson fight for fifth. This might be one of Gerard Aron's best chances to get his first career win, but he's still, it's still a tall order in that 79 car. Head through the S's once more. Ryback continues to lead this race over Tristan Wilhoit and Eric Monaco. There they go, taking air once more. Look at the chaos that ensues. Paulson trying to get clear of Iran. Iran does not want that. Tries to send him wide, and he does. Iran going to go down the inside and take the spot. Gerard Aron putting on a show here as there has been Walla there Ravine also getting into this. Fitzwater has come close to winning here in the past. In fact, it was him getting dumped by Lorenzo Lord that caused Anderson to win this race in 2014. Eric catching up to his teammate. Wilhoy had a lot of early speed, but it seems it's calming down now. It seems he's losing that pace and Eric is slowly reeling in the gap. Leaderboard is up, it's Ryback over Will Hoyt and Monaco, your top three. Back of the field, Roush is struggling for pace, same with Angel and Ray. They're all still stuck at the rear of the field. Well, these guys are up in the front. Specifically, Ryback trying to run away with the fastest lap of the race. Duncan, though, keeping speed with Ryback. Ron runs wide. The Mavericks of Paulson and Jackson close the gap on the 79. Are they gonna get there before the first corner or will Ron shut the door? He will. Ron keeping that top five under locks for the team. Downey Autosport has come out this season swinging. They have been stronger than we ever expected them to be. Karanko's been holding down the fort, but it seems that Ron's trying to put his hat into the ring. Eric slowing down now, not able to put in a challenge on Will Hoyt. And instead, Willie D trying to catch up with the fastest is just Mylerad Ryback, who was just trying to check out. Ryback already one career win to his name. That came last year at Carmen Park. In a drag race back to the line with the guy in third. Will Hoyt has caught back up to the 29. He got his pace back going, and he's reeled him back in. It is now a former rookie last year versus this year's rookie, Tristan Will Hoyt. Will Hoyt second in points, trying to take the point lead from the guy who sits sixth on track right now. Obviously, he would be in position. It's a seven point gap. He is easily in position to take the point lead. Over the jump once more. That is so exhilarating to watch them go over that. Will Hoyt now, your fastest driver of the race. He is speeding up, and I think he's got the advantage. Yes, he is. Tristan Will Hoyt down the inside, and he'll take the lead here in Lime Rock. First lead change of the day, lap five into lap six, and that Menards, number, 80, or number 98, into the lead of this race. Duncan beginning to reel in the 87, and we could see a battle ensue between these two sometime in the near future. Meanwhile, this train of four just seems to be nice and calm back here. Ron, Paulson, Jackson, and Irvine, another train of four back here. That is Vincent, Fitzwater, Benyako, and Karenko. And then from there, it just descends into chaos as everyone trying to get their way through the field. No one really doing that good of a job at it. Ard in the pits. Seems he had a tire rub possibly and had to get that fixed. That is unfortunate for Ard. Ard not what he wanted to see. I see Paulson just got through a run. It was a tall order to fend off a Maverick in a Downey Autosport car. That's a C plus versus an A plus. But Iran putting on a great show nonetheless. I see Shane Vincent is starting to catch the back of this train of four. He's abandoned his train. In fact, Fitzwater trying to go with him. Thor's got experience around this facility. Al Will Hoyt is flying right now. Literally as well on that jump. But he is in the 48 eights. That is such an incredible pace to be on. I believe the only other person on that pace currently is Shane Vincent, who is now on the back of 
Irvine and will take him down the inside for eighth. Shane Vincent had this kind of pace last week. Last week, he was far and beyond the fastest guy on the track. And it seems that this week, he is one of the fastest once more. Up into eighth, and now he sees Jackson and Iran up ahead. That's his next two targets in his sights. Eric and Duncan both catching the back of Ryback. Ryback has lost his pace. Will Hoyt starting to slow down as well. The fastest on the track right now is either Willie D or uh, Shane Vincent. It's Willie D. Continuing to close that gap down on Eric Monaco and now on Milo Ad Ryback. Running a little wide goes Will Hoyt. That's going to close in everyone else just a little bit on him. They're not letting him get away. 49 6, 49 2, 03, 49 3, and 49 3. Ryback, your fastest of the top four. Irvine was your fastest last time, or, or no, he was your second fastest last time around. Uh, just barely slower than Ryback. Benoit Lever, Irvine. Looking quick as well as he re-overtakes uh, Shane Vinson here. Shane must have had a bad line last time around, a 49-4. Not what we expect out of a guy who was running 48-8s earlier. He tried to cross over Ravine there. A little too hard of a jerk is going to lose momentum. And now he's going to have to worry about Fitzwater behind him. Who's rounding out your top 10. Benyako, uh, Karanko, Anderson, Audra, Brock, Downey, Fuller, Curtis, um, Faber and Rahal rounds out your top 20. It is a great showing out of Curtis, Fuller, and Baranowska specifically, who is still running up in the top 15. She started 16th. She's made two spots since the start. Audra, the same pace she had last week. That Red Stallion is doing wonders for her. How's the guys at the front looking? Are they reeling in? Uh, even lap times between your top two, while the other two was three tenths slower, but they were even between the two of them. Duncan, your your strategy should be to to be as straight as possible up this hill, because if you're sideways like that for Jackson, it's going to be a little bit harder to get the power down, which means he's not going to be able to challenge the 79. You got to be as straight as possible up that jump, because if you can, you're going to get that power down, and you're going to like that on Faber. Had the line and was able to get the power down off the jump. That's where the main source of making up time, it's there in the final corner, the two places where you're going to be making most of your time. Iran and uh, Jackson continue to fight for sixth. Iran continuing to hold him off. Duncan closes further and further on that 87. He's getting closer and closer. Wilhoit back in the 48s. Fantastic job out of Tristan Wilhoit so far to keep responding to the 29. Monaco and Duncan just sitting in the wings waiting for some kind of mistake, some kind of a thing to let them catch up. I think pit stops could be that around lap 24 is when we expect that to begin. Ron continuing to hold them off uh, while Shane Vincent now trying to get back on the seven of Benoit Lavare Irvine. He'll launch down the inside. He's got Alex Benyako who just got past Zachary Fitzwater Sr. He was your opener winner two weeks ago in Gatineau. The last road course win went to Benyako, and he's looking pretty strong here today, actually. Uh, your fifth fastest on the track. Anderson, your fourth fastest. What I That's what I'd expect out of the guy who has won here in the past. He's running 49 twos, which is some of the fastest laps on track currently. Will Hoyt. Looks like he's running wide. That's going to close right back in big time. Look at that gain. Duncan looking real close. I see. Is that Bartlett in the pits? Yes, it is. Dan Bartlett and engine complete blowout on the 86. That's unfortunate. Bartlett's had a good start to the year. All of Monarch has, and that's the first hiccup that Monarch's had this year. That is a complete engine blowout. That engine's decimated. Unfortunate for Dan Bartlett, but we got a battle here for third. Eric Monaco versus William Duncan. Monaco needs these points to get himself back in the top 10 in points, but Duncan wants to continue his crusade through the top 10 in points, and there is Paulson closing in behind as well. This should be easy for Willie D. Yes. Great job out of Duncan. As he'll take the third position, 
and will begin to try to run after your top two. But your top two getting pretty close to each other and are three seconds up on the rest of the field. This is an interesting battle between Ryback and Wilhoit Brewing. Wilhoit well, continuing that really strong pace he showed as it seems that Iran's trying to break away from Jackson here. Vincent losing spots now. Fitzwater runs a little wide though. That's gonna be the opportunity that Shane needs to get back by Fitzwater and fend off the challenge. Now Anderson running up to his former teammate, team owner, and were both consecutive champions in 2013 and 2014. Fitzwater the 2013 champion and Anderson the 2014 champion, both under the Fitzwater Australia banner. Back when Fitzwater Australia was a top tier team. Now Anderson under Roush, another top tier team. I don't think Fitzwater's gonna fight him too hard here. Fitzwater will go wide and I think he's just gonna let Anderson go. He knows that Anderson would have the pace to do something here. As Shane back on the hunt as he's down the inside of the 17 of Alex Benyako. Shane trying to get a move on. Jackson back to the back of Iran. Not gonna let him get away that easily. While Wilhoy answering to the pressure that Ryback is putting on the back of him. So far, this race seems to be in the hands of these two. Tristan Wilhoy and Milorad Ryback seem to have this race under control, under lock between one of them. But I would not let uh, keep Duncan out of the question to be able to reel them in and take the win. He is one of the fiercest road ringers on this on this uh, roster. Although Will Hoyt continuing to be the fastest driver on track, uh, Benoit is your second fastest. And it's a huge battle here. A four-way battle for ninth. Oh boy, this is dangerous. Anderson trying to keep it on the inside of both Benyako and Vincent and will do so. Fitzwater, the former teammate, going with him. Shane gonna try to block off the challenge from the 34, and I think he will. What a defense from the 42. The defense is not over, though. He's gotta keep him behind him through this final corner, which is not going to be easy. Anderson all over the back of the 42. Shane is doing a fantastic job right now, though. This is an amazing showing out of Shane Vincent to keep the challenge away from everyone else. He has been defending, re-overtaking, doing everything he can to keep ninth from charging, from hard chargers like Anderson and Benyako. I'm gonna go check on Sean Angel, uh, Scott Roush, Roger Ray. For them damage uh, for Yuki Tamora, I think I know where that came from. Uh, Scott Rush, I'm into 31st. He's gained a few positions since the start. Angel, not as many, not as many for Ray either. But this is, oh my God, Will Hoyt. That was a 1.2 second gain. Must have had a big mistake out of Ryback. People are starting to leech their times into the 50 seconds. As we approach pit stops, this is around the time where pit stops are going to be kind of essential. Jackson finally getting through the 79. Iran put up such a fight. Good job. Ooh, that's a spin. We had a spin there. What happened? There would be a huge battle up ahead, but it would be DJ Curtis who would try to take advantage of this big battle, try to launch it down the inside of Downey and would send himself into the inside wall and around DJ Curtis would go. He would be the only one to receive damage and he would get going after losing three or four places. Got a little too eager there, Curtis, and you had to pay the price. But back live and back to your battles near the top. Iran does not seem to want to let go of the 10 car. Irvine chilling down an eighth on his own while Shane has actually been able to break away from the challenge of the 34, but a bad line there is gonna reel Anderson right back in. I see Irvine is now putting the challenge of the 79, a bad line for Iran. Puts Benoit in the seat to take a position. Shane barely trying to fend him off. Oh, Shane continues to just be in this zone where he's constantly defending. He can't attack. He can't go after the guys ahead because Anderson keeps the pressure. 
and now it's gonna get difficult. Oh, but a little bit of a pressure from the 17 is gonna push Anderson back and put Benyako in, in a position to challenge. But he backs off because that was a terrible line to challenge in. Uh, Benyako, but a possible crossover from the 17. My God, Fitzwater down the inside as well. It's three wide for position. Fitzwater, a big move. That's not gonna work. I see that Eric has now fallen into the clutches of Paulson. While Duncan continues to try to run away, these two are lapping a full second faster than the rest of the field. Ooh, not Irvine. Irvine is really fast right now. What the hell, Irvine? Shane now has a little bit of a gap now. Maybe he might be able to keep away from them. It's all this battling up into the front that's stopping them. Because look at this train. Curtis has now finally pit for that damage. There goes Jackson on Monaco. Irvine goes with him. Beautiful move. That was textbook out of both the 10 and the 7 to take advantage of that situation. Irvine into 6th now and is keeping it real tight. It looks like he wanted to challenge the 10 soon. Benwalla there, Irvine is on the move. He is one of the fastest right now on track. Although these guys up ahead are in clear air, they have faster lap times. I think Irvine is probably the fastest on track right now in that BMW. This is what we expected Irvine to do once he got into a higher rank car. Ooh, a little sideways off the jump. But Eric Monaco is dropping like a stone. His pace just vanished. There it is. That's a mistake out of Jackson. Irvine closes in. Oh my God, Irvine is flying right now. He's already flown past one of the Mavericks and he's got two more in his sights. Oh, Ryback, big, big jump in that lap time comparison. In fact, everyone gained on Will Hoyt last time around. Keeping it straight off that jump, no smoke whatsoever, was able to keep it nice and clean over the jump as we head into this corner. How's Will Hoyt's line gonna be pretty good? So is Ryback's, Ryback's gonna keep him honest. Duncan. Keeping it honest, he's all on his own right now. He's got a three second buffer behind and a five second buffer ahead. Irvine now, calm down a little bit. And now a Ron challenging Monaco. Monaco, there's something wrong, dude. You gotta go. And it's just not going. And now Shane begins his crusade. He's gonna start closing down on the guys ahead. He's finally got an opportunity to do so. Will White responding. Uh, he's now your fastest, I think. Look at this battle back here. I think that's your first two pit takers. Shepard and Tamora will undercut the field. And Jeff Sweeney, known to make some pretty gutsy strategy calls. And the undercut is the strategy call he's going to make today. Aiden Shepard goes with him. Who's going to be the first of the front runners to make that call, though? Eric, amazing call, Maverick. You could not have made a better call. Karan goes in. Eric was struggling for pace. That could not have been a better call for the Maverick crew. Beautiful strategy call. A few others coming in. Karanko, I saw Cody Lamas is in as well. Tamora out of the pits. I see Nelson has some big left side damage, probably hitting that wall. Uh, there's a wall that a few people tend to hit when your tires get lower on grip. Eric, now you need to get four tires. You need to get an adjustment and you need to go. You need to get out on track and you need to run. Duncan! Did Duncan just hit the wall? Whoa, 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 whoa. No, he didn't. He didn't. He's fine. Duncan is fine. I thought he had hit that wall. But he's fine. I see Paulson's in the pits. He is the person who calls on this run, and I see that Iran went with him. The thing with Lime Rock and what we expected to happen is different strategies with people going different lengths. People waiting to pit. 
Will Hoy makes the call now, and Ryback will follow. I don't think Duncan got any damage. He just had an off-track excursion. And Duncan will join them. Now these guys, oh my God, Shane. Oh my God, Shane. A run, cuts the guys off. As expected, but Shane is flying. Anderson is close. Now we watch Ryback and Will Hoyt in the pits. Duncan will close him behind Icy. Who else is that? Grace Takayama? Uh, oh yeah, Takayama was in the last rotation. Jackson's in. Who is that behind? Oh, everyone's in! The entire rest of the field just pit! Oh, Tamora in threat of being put a lap down. Will Hoyt in the lead. Duncan will keep third. Will Irvine trying to take Jackson out of the pits? Oh, contact! Jackson! <laughs> no, he wasn't able to keep him at bay. Irvine takes the spot. Shane! Huge gains in the pits. That was exciting. Brock got some gains. Who are we missing? I feel like someone's missing. Everyone filing out one by one out of the pits. That's all you can do. And Tamora had the warm tires, so was able to get back ahead. And it's now Tristan Wilhoy, Ryback, Duncan after an off-track excursion. Earlier was able to recover and keep third. Paulson's fourth. Irvine was able to jump Jackson just barely out of the pits into the top five goes that trailblazer jackson six the ron seventh shane vincent has overtaken monaco in the pits for eighth eric not is now ninth and alex benyaka rounds out your top 10 anderson down in 11th now what oh no what an exciting pit stop cycle but that just gave advantage tristan will hoyt will he got a much better pit stop and now it's up to Ryback to try to reel him in. Or is Tristan Wolley really going to break his two streak by taking his first career win? Duncan in third is just hanging out on his own. Who's the fastest right now? Uh, Paulson, I think. Irvine's kind of close to that pace. It is Alex Benyako's really fast. Alex Benyako is your fastest on track and has now reeled himself into the back of the 87 and the 42. What a good race this has been. This has been a fantastic race. Some great battles, but right now Tristan Wilhoit just sits out front and just needs to put in good laps and it's all his. Who's still in the pits? Oh, Ard's back in the pits. After his puncture in the start of the race, He's now in for his full pit stop. Get some more fuel. Obviously, just get another set of tires. You might as well. And get back out on track. Ard getting going again. Maverick looking at another fantastic day. The only thing that could stop that is that Eric Monaco is dropping. He still does not have pace. He's not keeping up with Shane Vincent. Shane is putting a little bit of a gap on him as he begins to close in on Gerardo Ron. Oh my God, Shane's fast. Oh God, Jackson's fast. Benoit's fast! <laughs> but your fastest is Willie D! Duncan's gotta be too far away to challenge these guys at the front, right? There's no way he could actually. Oh, wide for Ryback and a good line for Willie D. Oh my, Duncan is fast, but I don't think he has the speed to catch them in time. 48-8. Oh my god, he's flying. Duncan, a full second faster than Ryback last time around. Two tenths quicker than your leader, Tristan Wilhoit. Is there anyone else? Fitzwater! Wow, Fitzwater is sixth fastest of the race. Good job, Fitzy. Faber's in the 48s. Tyler Faber all the way back here. He's got pace. A lot of people back here has some decent pace. The problem now is that Tristan Wilhoit has reached traffic. 
as he is on the back of Yuki Tamura and DJ Curtis. And now it gets interesting. Willie D still in the 48s, but now Will Hoyt responds into the 48s. They have almost identical lap times, but advantage is still Duncan. No one else is up at the front is in the 48s right now. Even Fitzwater is backed out of the 48s. It is third and first while Ryback is slow. Ryback does not have the pace he needs. Oh, is that running wide for Tristan Wilhoit? That's not good. That's going to lose in time. How is Willie D just on rails right now? Jackson's gone. Oh, no. Jackson. Oh, disaster for the 10. And Jackson's gonna park it. What a disaster for Paul Jackson. Will Hoyt slow. Oh my God, Duncan's catching at an alarming pace. I don't think he has the time to do it though. He'd need more help than he's got now. Tamora. Holding up in the 98 here. Another off-track excursion for the 98. Will Hoyt, get it together. How's Duncan? Is he still on rails? No, a little bit off that time. Ray Hall's gone. Engines are giving out. Ray Hall's engine is beginning to struggle as he slowly sputters around the track. Eric getting his pace back. Ryback was the fastest of the three this time. Ben Walla there, Bean. Shout out to Benoit, by the way. P5 in this race, started P13, and he moved his way straight through the field into such a great position. Benoit absolutely performed today. Where his teammate struggled... After starting from the rear, Sean Angel still just barely in the top 30 now. How's Scott Roush 27th? 26th! Just got 26th while we were looking. And Angel's got 28th. But Benoit, P5, such a great performance. He is going to be ecstatic about that. And now, Will Hoyt is officially stuck in traffic. <laughs> yep, there's Ray Hall in the pits now for that engine issue. This is where, this is the final thing that could possibly stop Will Hoyt, is this traffic. But he needs something more to happen. Ryback is closing, he is. And so is Willie D, but they need more. They need more than this. Paulson, I think, is definitely fully out of it. And Will Hoyt gets through your first three cars in traffic. Ray Hill's out of the pits now. The hill come across the line of 50.3. Ryback across the line of 49.3. That's a full second cut. 49.6. That's almost a full second cut. It's possible. But it's just bare. Someone went. Oh, someone's. Uh, oh, no. Someone just touched the grass, I think. I think it's just barely possible. But it's still a stretch. I think Tristan Wilhoyd has this. Back any battles. Ooh. Gerard Aron looking for fourth. Wow. Or, or looking for fifth. He wants a top five. Against Benoit there, Hervine. They were former teammates back in the day. Back when Aron was in the 99 for Trailblazer. Some really old teammates. About to do battle. Eric was able to get back by Shane, beginning to struggle for pace in this back half of the race. Unfortunate for Shane, but it's still a good run for Shane today. Fuller, again, another great run. Fuller has just been amazing in the early season so far. Uh, Mark Nutt in the top 20. Been such a good day for some of these people. But now, Will Hoyt continues to be in traffic. Where's Ryback? He's kind of there. But he's just kind of not. Duncan continuing to close. He could take P2 here. But I think the win's under lock. I think Will Hoyt's got this. I think Will Hoyt, and especially with Ryback making more mistakes, I think the battle we should be looking at, though, is that Willie D is closing closer and closer to the 29.
Duncan has been one of the fastest of the race, although he hasn't been the fastest. He is right now sixth fastest lap of the race behind Faber, Rowe, uh, Ryback, Vincent, and the leader and probable winner, Tristan Wilhoyt. Now latching onto the back of the 07, I think he doesn't have to worry about pushing hard anymore. Ryback gonna take a risk here to get down the inside of his teammate and take a position. And Ryback just trying to keep away from the four. Will Hoyt is, is Will going for a two for one? Yes, he is. God, such a clinic today. Such a clinic performance out of the 98. If you didn't know that he was a rookie, you'd think he'd been out here for multiple years with this kind of performance. Kept the pace all day long and has been just pushing through this lap traffic like it was nothing. There is nothing that anyone can do. Ryback is not going to be able to touch him because no one is... I don't think anyone's going to be able to file through this lap traffic as fast as Will Hoyt has. He gets distracted for maybe a few corners, but then he just takes a two-for-one deal on a pass. And is just gone. It is just such an amazing day for the 98, and he deserves this win. Three laps to go this time for Tristan Wilhoyt, and it is set in stone at this point. Ryback now, though, his second place is not set in stone because there is Willie D on the back. Ryback could not file through the lap traffic, and here comes Duncan for second. And he's got it. Duncan got it. Fuel system issue on the 37. That is Nick Pericles. And Pericles is in the wall. Huge hit in the wall. And that's Will Wade right behind. He'll just run straight past. No big deal. They all see him. They all see him. That almost got dangerous. Oh, Duncan tried to fake him out to defend. Ryback's not done. And they're battling with two lappers who are battling for their own positions. Two laps to go for Tristan Wilhoy. What an amazing race. He got second in testing, second in his duel, second in Gatineau, second in WR Raceway, and he's not the bridesmaid today. Rookie Tristan Wilhoy is not looking like a rookie today as he comes to take the white flag here in Lime Rock Park putting on a clinical performance and he's just got one more lap to seal the deal. Ryback running away from Duncan trying to as hard as he can to keep him away and I think he might. He used the lappers as a pick and I think that was enough. Pericles out of the pits, and here we go. Tristan Wilhoyt has been, he was looked at as one of the strongest guys coming into this season. He was so incredibly prepared for this season. Many years down in lights, and he's proving that despite his pessimism, he is looking to be one of the strongest this season out of the last corner. First career win in his third, in his third start, Tristan Wilhoyt wins in Lime Rock. What a performance. And I think Ryback will hold him off for P2. Duncan gave it his absolute best to catch him. But it just wasn't enough. Paulson P4. I see that Eric was able to make a very strong run to P5 at the end. Pulled together a good result. Benyako 6th, Irvine in 7th, Anderson 8th, Gerard Aron in 9th, and Shane Vincent will round out the top 10. A great first half of the race. He struggled in the back half, but held on to a top 10 for a very great result out of Vincent. But what a race. That was such a good race. What a race out of Tristan Wolhoy. A clinical veteran-like performance out of the rookie in his third start.
full time in that 98. And it's his first career win for Tristan Wilhoy and most definitely the points lead now going to the 98. I did I expected him to be good this year. I did not expect him to be this good. Congratulations to Tristan Wilhoy. Let's go look at your finishing results. And it is Tristan Wilhoyt taking the win here. A rookie winner in his third start. Ryback second, Duncan third, Paulson fourth, Monaco fifth, Benyako sixth, Irvine seventh, Anderson eighth, Ron ninth, and Shane Vincent rounding out the top ten. Franco, another great performance down in 12th. Fitzwater, great performance in 11th. Fuller, just those three right there. 11, 12, 13th, great performances in underrated vehicles. So good job out of all three of those. Um, Rowe climbed from 35th to 15th. Wow. Roush and Angel from the from two of the bottom spots. Uh, 38th and 40th move up to 25th, 26th to actually put together an okay result for the team today. Uh, for their teams, as Trailblazer put together a fantastic performance. Uh, Benyako comes from 15th to run 6th. Great job out of Alex Benyako. Uh, Monaco comes back from struggling in the first half and even in the first part of the second half of the race to really kicking it up right at the end. Took like four positions at the end of the race and ends in a top five. Very, very good out of Monaco, but a disastrous day for Paul Jackson as an engine blowout with just a few to go is going to really halt any chance he has at this championship in the early season. Uh, Pericles with a fuel line issue and Dan Bartlett out uh, as well. It is unfortunate for them, but congratulations to Tristan Wilhoyt. Such a great performance, and it was a good race. Uh, next time, we're heading out to Chicagoland Speedway, Chicago, Illinois, uh, for a track that debuted last season and gave us such a great four-way battle for the win that ended in uh, a rookie winner last season as well, being Vladimir Petrov, who is who left for different endeavors after that season. But such a great race last season, and we're hoping for another great race this season, uh, as we'll see you all next time.